we have two plans for inventory and every plan has number of quantity number of stocks that need to be ordered every time first of all the demand the demand that means the yearly demand equal to 1000 items per year okay so the customers demand 1000 pieces or 1000 items per year okay we need to know we need to know which is better whether we order in one time 400 pieces or we order in one time 100 pieces so we will see now which is better okay based on what based on the cost that included or that that will be spent in these two plans and the less cost will be the best plan okay now the first plan is to order 400 pieces that means q is equal to 400 pieces okay okay here uh, and the, the the average inventory for plan a equals 200 okay we divide 400 by 2 that means average inventory is 200 okay in plan b the number of quantity is equal to 100 number of ordered quantity is equal to 100 and the the average will be 50 pieces okay 50 pieces okay how many times we order in plan a who can answer this question how many times four why jude how did you find it okay we said that number of orders equals to the demand divided by the number of quantity okay or q yes exactly khadija two and a half 2.5 1000 by 400 is equal to 2.5 that means we need to order two times and a half or three times in the, in the last time we order half of the quantity and in plan b how many times we order 1000 by 100 10 times right if we know that we have two types of costs we have two type of costs here let me return back okay we have two types of cost the first cost is related to the inventory keeping the inventory keeping the inventory or uh, controlling the inventory okay and this cost can be uh, uh, can be uh, measured by the pieces for example in the cost of inventory we say that the cost of each piece or each one of the inventory costs us around one real for example one real that means if we keep 400 pieces in the inventory the cost of the 400 pieces is equal to 400 riyals. but as you know that the cost of inventory is declined when the inventory is declined also right because we have here at the beginning of the inventory we have 400 pieces but the 400 pieces declined until it reached zero so the cost of inventory is also declined until it reached zero so it's better to count the average cost of inventory okay the average cost of inventory that means if we know that the inventory will cost one real per 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 one piece per piece of, of inventory that means in plan a the inventory cost will be 200 200 because of the average okay you said uh, who, who's asking how can we find the cost okay the cost is given they will tell you that the inventory cost equals to one real per piece one real for each okay so but you should know that to calculate the inventory cost you should take uh, you should put in your mind finding the average inventory cost not the full inventory cost you find the average inventory cost that means in plan a the inventory cost will be 200 riyals okay this is one thing this is, this is one cost one type of cost okay the next cost will be for the ordering what we call it the ordering cost the ordering cost okay each time we order 
quantities, we will pay some money to order. Okay? For example, uh, and this is also will given in the question. They will give you in the question that the ordering cost is equal to, for example, 70 or 80 riyals per one time, per one order. Okay? It's not related to the, the, the number of quantities. If you order 100 pieces, pieces, then you will pay 70 riyals. If you order 400 pieces, then you will pay 70 riyals. The same thing. Okay? So, the next cost or the second cost is the ordering cost. So, here, the ordering cost, as we said that, they will give it to you in the question. Okay. So, here, we have two types of cost. The first one, which is the inventory cost, which is what we call it the holding cost. The holding cost is the, uh, this one. This is the holding cost. Okay? And this is the ordering cost. This is the ordering. Okay? So, based on these two costs, we have what we call the total cost. And this is equals to holding cost plus ordering cost. Okay? Holding cost plus ordering. Let us have an example here. This is an example. Okay? An electronic chips supplier buys microchips from a large manufacturer. Last year, the company supplied 1,500 specialist D72 chips to customers. The cost of placing an order is $75 and the annual holding cost is estimated to be $2.5 per chip per year. The question A, calculate the, follow the following A, EOQ in units B, calculate the annual ordering cost the annual holding cost and the total cost based on your EOQ. C, enumerate and briefly discuss the two types of cost. It's okay, no problem. No, don't worry about that. Okay, here, this is our question. This is the question. We need to find out EOQ in units based on the information given in the question here. Okay, where is D? First of all, where is D? D is the demand. Where is it? Exactly. Excellent, Khadija. D is 1,500. Okay, and what's D by 72? What is, the, what is this one? This is just a name, a name of a chip. Don't worry about that one. This is irrelevant to, to, the, to, the, to the question. So, yes, yes, you are right. It's the chip number or chip model. Okay, here we have two costs. We have the ordering cost, which is 70, $75. This is the ordering cost. And the holding cost is equal to 2.5 per chip per year. Okay, now we want to calculate EOQ. How can we calculate EOQ? First of all, we need to find, we need to find what? We need to find the formula EOQ is equal to the square root, the square root of 2 multiplied by CO, which is the ordering cost, multiplied by the D, which is the demand, divided by CH, which is the holding cost. So this is the formula of finding the EOQ. Okay, we want to find out the, uh, what's CO and D and CH. D is equal to 1,500 chips, okay? Okay, CH, which is the holding cost, the holding cost, which is the storage or inventory cost, is equal to 2.5 per chip per year. That's it, 2.5. And CO, which is the ordering cost, is equal to 75 US dollar. That means EOQ is equal to square root of 2 multiplied by 75 multiplied by 1,500 divided by 2.5 is equal to 300 chips or units okay this is the number of pieces in the economic ordering quantity okay because a part a said that find out the or calculate the eoq in units so eoq in units is equal to 300 chips or units okay b ask about calculating the annual ordering cost 
the annual holding cost and the total cost based on your EOQ. So once we found EOQ, then it's easy to calculate annual ordering cost. How can we calculate annual ordering cost? By this formula. You see here, uh, the annual ordering cost is equal to number of orders per year, number of orders per year, multiplied by ordering cost per order. Okay? So here, number of orders per year, number of orders per year is equal to how many times we order how many times we order 1500 divided by 300 okay and multiplied by the ordering cost per order which is the 75 that means this part should be here and this part should be here based on the uh, formula so this is equal equals 375 so this is the annual ordering cost what is the meaning of annual ordering cost annual ordering cost means that you have cost, you have ordering cost for one time and you multiply it by the number of times you order per year. The number of times per, uh, you order per year is 1,500 by 300, which is how many here? Five times, right? Yes, that's right, Khadija. Five times. 1,500 divided by 300 is equal to five. Five, you multiply it by 75, which is the ordering cost in one time so it gives us 375 US dollars this is the annual ordering cost annual ordering cost okay now we want to calculate the annual holding cost the annual holding cost okay the annual order uh, holding cost we said that if you want to calculate the holding cost you should calculate the the holding cost for the average quantity okay for the average quantity here we said that the EOQ is equal to 300 so what is the average 300 by 2 okay 300 by 2 that means 150 multiply 150 by 2.5 2.5 which is the, the the holding cost for one piece that means here we have 150 pieces Okay, multiply it by 2.5 is equal to 375. So what the total cost? The total cost is equal to 375, which is the annual ordering cost, plus 375, which is the annual holding cost, is equal to 750. 750. And this is the total cost, the total cost.